Okay, for model five, we're going to do a regression equation with response variable of sales, with one continuous predictor advertising, and one categorical variable or factor shelf location. And you'll see how this comes out here. That I have an intercept of 4.89. Sales go up by 0.1. And actually, that's out of a thousand units, or out of a thousand units. So, for every, uh, I think it's thousand dollars spent on advertising, because that's in thousands of dollars, you'll sell another one hundred units. The um, <clears throat> with advertising held constant, our categorical variable, and R does do the dummy coding automatically. So our groups we have here are good and medium which means that the third group, which is bad lo shelf location, is the reference group. So with other variables in the model held constant, in this case with advertising held constant, if you go from bad location to medium location, then you'll sell about 1,751 more. And the good also compared to the reference group. So if you, with, every, with advertising held constant and you move from a bad to a good shelf location, you'll expect almost 4,600 more units of sales. So it looks like it's pretty important to get a good shelf location. And we have an R squared of uh, 0.37. Okay, some plots here. I'm gonna use uh, ggplot just to get here. And you can see what I'm gonna do is I've got the data set car seats, Aesthetics, Y is equal to sales, X is equal to advertising. And I'm going to denote shelf location by um, different colors. And then I'm going to use points for each thing and then um, put, go ahead and draw the lines on there and use the theme of, uh, based on Stephen uh, Few's work. You will have to have ggplot2 and ggthemes loaded in order to, uh, to do this. And there you have uh, the shelf locations is each color, each line is a different shelf location. And then you can see within each one what the relationship between advertising and sales. So it looks like actually the slopes are pretty close to the same, no matter which group you have. So it doesn't look like there's really an interaction there. Um, the effects of advertising, it looks like they're about the same at each level. Uh, but you can see that the bad location is down here then the uh, medium location, and then the good location. I'm going to draw another graph here. It's just the same data, but a little bit different look at it. And uh, what I'm going to do is use uh, uh, faceting in order to get the facets in the right order. Remember, the default is going to be alphabetical. I'm going to have here a new variable that I call um, shelf location underscore f for a factor variable and when I tried this it just seemed to work better if I put the name of the data set dollar sign between each one so I just did it uh, that may or may not be uh, necessary but you know my philosophy is if it works just <laughs> let it work and move on to something else so I'm going to make a factor variable out of car seats shelf location and I'm going to set the levels to bad, medium, and good. So that's just going to make it come out in that order. And then I'm going to run uh, the, uh, I don't need to do that again. That's just, um, well, I've already done this. So you'll just see it just lists the, stain, the stuff there. But really don't need that again. But I wanted to see it. Uh, the levels, bad, medium, good there. But then our GG plot, data set, car sets, aesthetics, Y is sale, X is advertising. Now, I don't have the color equal here. I have plus GM point, um, method equal LM, facet grid, period tilde, uh, shelf location. And so that's going to mean uh, I'm going to have the period just means the default is one row. And then I have columns by um, this factor variable car seats. And I'm going to use a, a different theme this time based on uh, the work of Ed, Ed Tufty. And so I'm just going to highlight and run all of that. And there you have. Of course, I could have put the color in here. Let's try that. Uh, but 
you're going to get the same kind of thing. It's just now, instead of being on one graph, you have th three separate graphs. Here's the relationship between advertising and sales with a bad location, then the same thing, the medium location, and then same with a good location. And let's just let me go right on this. Color equal. Shelve. Location. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put factor. I don't think I'd need to do that, but let's see how this comes out. And now you have different colors for each one of you. Um, like the looks of that. Okay, and that's it for this one. Uh, the relationship between a quantitative continuous response variable sales, which you have to have for any multiple regression, and then a continuous predictor advertising and a categorical or factor of a shelf location.